In today's video, we will see how we can use lookup, vlookup, hlookup, and xlookup. We will discuss all type of lookups in very detail. Hi, my name is Vijay, and you are watching Office Mom. Let's start the video without any delays. The very first thing we are going to see is lookup. This is a sales data with employee ID, name, region, invoice number, date, and so on. On the right hand side, we have got employee number and name. We have to extract the name as per employee ID. I'll copy an employee ID from here and we'll paste. So I want employee name against employee ID. We are going to use lookup over here. So our formula will be plus or equal to lookup bracket open. We see two type of lookup over here, one on top and one in bottom. First, we are going to see the second one. So over here, we need to provide lookup value. So our lookup value over here will be employee ID. Means on what criteria we are going to search will be our lookup value. So we are going to search as per employee ID. So it will be our lookup value. Second thing we are going to provide is RA means our data. So we have taken employee ID as lookup. So we will select from employee ID and as an output, we want name. So we will just select two things. Employee ID and name as our RA. We will close the bracket and we'll hit enter. So we got the name of the employee. When we will change the employee ID, the name will also change. One thing to note over here, lookup will take value from the last column. So when we provided table RA over here, we had just selected two columns, employee ID and name. In case we will select more columns, the result will be totally different. Let's see once again, plus or equal to lookup bracket open, lookup value, employee ID will be our lookup value, comma, RA. If we will select total data, it will provide the value from the last column. We will close the bracket and we will hit enter. So we haven't got name over here because it's taking the data from the last column, employee number 108. So lookup has selected sales target instead of name. So just remember, while you are using lookup, never select the whole data. Let me delete this plus or equal to lookup bracket open lookup value comma array we will select two things we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter and we got the name over here let's see the second example i'll copy this and we'll paste over here earlier our output was name this time we want region plus or equal to lookup bracket open lookup value employee id will be our lookup value comma RA. We will select from employee ID till region. As I told earlier, it will be taking data from the last column. So it will take data from this column means column of region. Now we will close the bracket and we'll hit enter. Let's see the third example plus or equal to lookup bracket open lookup value will be our employee ID comma lookup RA. We will select from employee ID till sales. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. And this is the sales what we got. Let's cross check it. 375129. Let's do it round figure. 375129. Perfect. Let's see the next example. Sales target plus or equal to lookup. Lookup value. Employee ID will be our lookup value. Comma. We will select the whole table, means it will be our RA. We will select till sales target. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. And we got our sales target. In next example, we want name and region. So here the question comes. We will have to insert VLOOKUP twice or just by dragging it will do the work. Let's see. Plus or equal to LOOKUP. LOOKUP VALUE will be our employee ID. Let's freeze this by pressing function F4, comma, RA. We will select employee ID and name as it's going to pick the data from the last column. So our RA is B to C. Let's lock B also. 
let's insert dollar just before b close the bracket and hit enter so we got the name over here let's drag this and we got region over here let's do the same thing for all these plus or equal to look up bracket open look up value will be our employee id let's freeze this by pressing function f4 comma as we want name over here against employee id so we will just select two things employee id and name will freeze b means we will insert dollar just before b will close the bracket and will hit enter so we got the name over here now let's drag this till end and all our data over here is perfect one thing to note over here i'll take some employee id and will shift it upwards name of employee id 108 is cameron but over here we can see the name of john means the data what we are getting over here is wrong so why we are not getting the proper value we are not getting the proper value because in table array first values should be in ascending order otherwise it will take the last value as result so when i shifted the values up it's not in ascending order now let's do in ascending order control z or command z now it's in ascending order and we got the proper value employee 108 is dylan and we got the name as dylan over here so this is how lookup works let's see second type of lookup employee id i'll take an employee id from here and will paste it name plus or equal to lookup bracket open this time we are going to see the first lookup what's in top so lookup value employee id will be our lookup value comma over here we have to provide lookup vector so what is lookup vector lookup vector is the place or column where our lookup value exist so our lookup value exist over here in employee id so i have selected this comma result vector so what we want as result we want name as result so we will select column of name we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter so we got the name against employee id let's see the second example plus or equal to lookup bracket open lookup value employee id will be our lookup value comma we have to provide lookup vector so where employee id exists over here so this will be our lookup vector comma what we want as result we want region as result so our result vector will be region so we have selected just two columns lookup vector and result vector we will close the bracket and we'll hit enter let's see the third example we want sales over here against employee id plus or equal to lookup bracket open lookup value employee id will be our lookup value comma lookup vector all the employee ids will be our lookup vector comma result vector what we want as result we want sales as result so all the sales will be our result vector we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter so we got the sales in next example we want name against invoice number let's pick one invoice number from here name plus or equal to lookup lookup value this time invoice number will be our lookup value comma lookup vector so all the invoice numbers will be our lookup vector this time comma result vector what we want as result we want name so all the names will be our result vector let's close the bracket and hit enter so we got name against invoice number one thing you might have noticed over here we can take lookup vector in right side and result vector in left side and vice versa means we can go from left to right or right to left in both the cases lookup will work very properly in next example we will take one thing from left and one thing from right let's see how it works let's copy this invoice number and paste over here name plus or equal to lookup bracket open lookup value 
invoice number will be our lookup value comma lookup vector so all the invoice numbers will be our lookup vector comma result vector we want name over here so all the names will be our result vector close the bracket and hit enter but before hitting enter just see one thing we are going left side in this case now i'll hit enter and we got the name for sales we will have to go to right side plus or equal to lookup bracket open lookup value invoice number will be our lookup value comma lookup vector so all the invoice numbers will be our lookup vector comma result vector we want sales as result vector so we will select all the sales close the bracket and hit enter so we got the sales over here let's change invoice number let's do it 333 and see how name and sales changes it got changed now let's see the last example of lookup plus or equal to lookup bracket open lookup value employee id will be our lookup value let's lock the cell function f4 comma lookup vector all the employee ids will be our lookup vector let's put dollar before p means first b comma now we have to provide lookup vector so we will click on name because name is first thing over here let's close the bracket and hit enter now let's drag this to right and we got all the items over here through lookup one thing to note over here in table array the first values should be in ascending order otherwise it will take the last value as result same what we had seen earlier in the first example now let's move to v lookup we will see couple of examples over here v lookup is different from lookup as we have to provide column number over here so what is the column number let's see this is our employee id and we want details against employee id so employee id will be our column number 1 i'll put number 1 over here and we'll drag this till end so we have got total 9 columns over here employee id is our column 1 name is in column number 2 let's put one employee id over here name so our function or formula of v lookup will be plus or equal to v lookup bracket open lookup value employee id will be our lookup value because we want name against employee id comma one thing to note over here employee id is in column number 1 so whatever will be your lookup value should be in column 1 otherwise v lookup is not going to work table array so for table array we will have to select from employee id and this time we are going to select the table or data or array till end now we will put comma here the catch is it needs column index number so we will have to see name is in which column so name is in column number 2 1 2 so we will put 2 over here comma here are two things approximate match and exact match for approximate match we can put true and for exact match we can put false even if we will put 1 it will be approximate match and if we will put 0 it will be exact match so we will put 0 we will close the bracket and will hit enter so we got the name against employee id let's see the second example plus or equal to v lookup bracket open lookup value employee id will be our lookup value comma table array so employee id is in column number 1 so we will select from here till end this time we want region so we will see region is in which column 1 2 3 so region is in column number 3 so we will put comma 3 comma 0 for exact match we will close the bracket and will hit enter so we got name of region against employee id let's see our next example this time we will insert v lookup just over here and we'll drag it till right and let's see what result we are going to get plus or equal to v lookup 
bracket open lookup value employee id will be our lookup value we will lock the cells by pressing function f4 comma table array we will select our whole data we will lock the cells function f4 comma we have to provide column index number of name so it's in column number 2 so we will type 2 over here comma 0 for exact match we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter now let's drag till end and see what result we are going to get so the result what we are getting is name and not the region means we haven't got proper result so why haven't we got the proper result because we haven't changed the column number so here the column number will be 3 here the column number will be 4 here the column number will be 5 date is not proper we will right click the mouse format cells we will take this up we will go to date and we'll select a desired date format and we'll do okay so we got the date over here so this was column number 5 this is column number 6 column number 7 and this is column number 8 so we got all the results properly now let's see one more example this time we are not going to use employee id as lookup value we will take name as lookup value i'll copy this control c or command c and we'll paste over here name i'll come to the left hand side and we'll select a name control c or command c and we'll paste over here this time we are going to take name as lookup value so our column number will not start from here means it will not start from employee id i'll delete this it will start from name this time because we are going to take name as lookup value if you are going to take invoice number as lookup value in that case your column number will start from here now i'll drag this fill series our name is over here region plus or equal to we look up bracket open look up value name will be our look up value comma let's freeze this by pressing function f4 comma table array as i told earlier this time we are going to select from here from name not from the employee id we will select till end let's freeze our data by pressing function f4 comma region region is in column number 2 so we will put 2 over here we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter so we got name of region now let's drag this till end and we are not getting the proper result so what we will have to do we will have to change the column numbers invoice number is in column number 3 so we will have to put 3 over here date date is in column number 4 so we will have to put 4 over here we will right click the mouse format cells we'll take this up we'll go to date and we'll select a desired date format and we'll do okay items items are in column number 5 so we will remove 2 from here and we'll put 5 enter quantity it's in column number 6 so we will put 6 enter sales it's in column number 7 so we will put 7 over here and we'll hit enter and we got the proper result so this is how we lookup works one thing to remember we lookup means vertical lookup so it will work vertically now let's move to h lookup so what is h lookup h lookup is horizontal lookup it will work horizontally and not vertically in v lookup my data was vertical but in h lookup my data is horizontal let's see how it works employee id i'll copy an employee id from here and we'll paste we'll paste over here now let's see how it works plus or equal to h lookup bracket open lookup value so earlier we were taking from left this time we will take from top comma table array one thing you might have noticed i was taking table array 
in previous examples from top but this time we can't take from top we will have to select proper data otherwise we will not get the desired result so this is our table array comma now we have to provide row index number in vlookup we had provided column number but over here we have to provide row number so name is in row number 2 1 2 so we will put 2 over here rest things are optional so we will close the bracket and we'll hit enter and we got the name so this will be number 1 row i'll drag this down fill series we'll take all the things in center let's see this once again plus or equal to h lookup bracket open lookup value employee id will be our lookup value comma table array let's select from top this time and see what result we are going to get comma row index number is 2 so i'll put 2 over here we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter and we got an error so we can't select the data from top in case of h lookup we will have to select exact data plus or equal to h lookup bracket open lookup value will be our employee id comma table array we will select our data comma row number or row index number name is in row number 2 so we will put 2 over here we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter now let's see the second example plus or equal to h lookup bracket open lookup value we will select our lookup value means employee id is our lookup value over here we'll press function f4 and we'll lock our cells comma table array we will select the whole data we'll freeze our data by pressing function f4 comma name name is in column number 2 so we will put 2 over here we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter now let's drag this down and we are getting names means we will have to change row index number over here so the region is in row number 3 so we will remove 2 and we'll put 3 over here and we'll hit enter we got the region sales sales is in column number 8 so we will go to formula bar we'll remove 2 and we'll put 8 over here and we'll hit enter and we got sales over here against employee id 104 so this is how h lookup works let's see the last example of h lookup this time we are going to take lookup value as name i'll delete this as we are going to take name as lookup value our row number will start from name and not from employee id i'll drag this down fill series so over here we want sales against name i'll select a name from here and we'll paste it plus or equal to h lookup bracket open lookup value name will be our lookup value comma table array we will select from here and not from top comma row index number we want sales so we will have to see the row number of sales so sales is in row number 7 we will put 7 over here we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter so we got sales against the name alexander it's 98638 Nine eight six three eight. Perfect. So this is how H lookup works. Now let's move to X lookup. Employee ID. I'll copy one employee ID from here and will paste name plus or equal to X lookup bracket open lookup value. Employee ID will be our lookup value. The most interesting part of X lookup. you can choose your lookup value and you can take array or lookup array either from left or right and it will work amazingly so we have selected employee id let me delete this and let me insert the formula once again plus or equal to x lookup 
bracket open, look up value, employee ID, comma, look up RA. So where we have to look employee ID? Over here. So we have selected this from top, comma. What we want as return? We want name as return. So we will click over here. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter and we got the name. Let's see the second example, plus or equal to X lookup, bracket open, lookup value, employee ID will be our lookup value, comma, lookup array, where we have to look this employee ID in all the employee IDs, means our lookup array will be all the employees ID, comma, return array, what we want in return, we want region in return, so we will have to select all the regions we'll have to close the bracket we'll hit enter and we got the region against employee id this time we will take invoice number as our lookup value let's copy one invoice number and paste over here name plus or equal to x lookup bracket open lookup value this time our invoice number will be lookup value comma lookup array as invoice number is lookup value so lookup array will be all the invoice numbers comma return array what we want in return we want name in return so we will select all the names we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter and we got the name now let's take name as lookup value and find out the reason plus or equal to x lookup lookup value we will select name as our lookup value, comma, lookup array. So as we have taken lookup value as name, our lookup array will be all the names, comma, return array. What we want in return? We want region as return. So we will select region, means all the regions. We'll close the bracket and hit enter. And we got name of the region against name. Let's change invoice number from here. Let's put 333, hit enter and all the things got changed, means name got changed as well as region got changed. Employee ID, we want employee ID against name or invoice number. Let's take name once again, plus or equal to X lookup, bracket open, lookup value, lookup value will be our name, comma, lookup array, we will have to select all the names as lookup array, comma, return array, what we want, we want employee ID as return array, so we will have to select all employee IDs, we'll have to close the bracket and we'll have to hit enter, and we got employee ID against name, let's change invoice number from here, 344, and all the things got changed. In the same way, we can find out data for date, items, quantity, and sales. So this is how lookup, vlookup, hlookup, and xlookup works. I'll provide link of practice file in description box. In case you want to download, you can. I'm sure you must have loved the video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you soon with a new topic. Till then, bye-bye.